personally and my background is i am a thoroughbred pakistani and uh, basically an engineer by profession but uh, drifted into afghan war during the soviet era when the soviet union had invaded afghanistan i joined the afghan resistance as a volunteer and participated for 6 years fighting against the soviets until the time we pushed them out of oxus across the oxus and we captured kabul that was my uh, that was my last interaction with the afghan resistance when the civil war started when the masood and hikmat yar started to fight among each other and the taliban began to rise and captured kabul later on those were the periods when i withdrew and came back to pakistan and uh, after various stints of small jobs and trying and trying to understand the market understanding the business of security management in pakistan in 2001 formed my own security consultation think tank prostax that's what you see today perhaps i was born to be a defense analyst and a visionary and an ideologue because, because my upbringing was heavily influenced by the ideologies of dr alama iqbal and the modern revolutionaries of the time and the fact that i physically as a youngster i was 22 years of age when i entered into afghanistan there were certain driving forces within certain ideological and emotional forces which wanted to see pakistan muslim world regaining its lost glory and naturally the afghan experience shaped and molded my thought process tremendously six years of battlefield experience of fighting against the soviets and then that gave you the opportunity to understand the global geopolitics also the national politics the national security scenario the interference and involvement of foreign secret services in trying to shape pakistan security politics and destiny so we were naturally directly confronted with these factors as a youngster they shaped my profile heavily you see we are working on very dangerous topics here working against israel working against global zionism working against the new con policy of reshaping the greater middle east and the american invasion of iraq and afghanistan and their their attempt to encircle muslim nuclear power and muslim pakistan the nuclear power and the potential nuclear power of iran it is very natural that when we speak against the every tyrant of the world when we speak against every secret service which is operating in this region whether they are indians or israelis or or the cia we would be threatened and uh, but to be honest the biggest threat we have is from our own government and the government of people's party and mr asif ali zardari and rahman malik these people are more stooges to the americans they are more threatening to us than the cia and and, and the raw perhaps if at this moment if we become afraid if we compromise and if we do not speak the truth the muslim nations in the region will suffer heavily so we understand the role is critical the risks are equally high but it's a risk that we take deliberately and we are absolutely willing to pay the cost we face the consequences and pay the cost whatever it is pakistan have a very strong position right now we can we can if we want we can choke the american supply if we want we can destroy the americans or we destroy the soviet pakistan have the will we have the resources we have the potential we have the assets on ground available for us that we can make afghanistan the graveyard for the us and the nato forces if if the political will of the government right now that they are not doing it the government is corrupt and weak but with the american supporting the nikita taliban pakistan and indians working under the american umbrella the time is not far i feel that pakistan will take a very decisive action pakistan is what form a national policy which either would declare neutrality in afghanistan which means we are neither supporting the americans nor supporting the taliban or if the americans become too hostile to us Pakistan can actually decide to engage Afghan Taliban on their side and do with the Americans what we did with the Soviets. Americans should fear that day when Pakistan decides to do that.